Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. No idea. 400 videos on my channel. Over. 50 CCs, 125s, reviews, servicing, big boat reviews. Check out my channel, I'm trying to say. What I'm looking at, well, pretty much like I've recently had here now with the Lexmoto 125 XTR, the um, Sinus, the other day, the white one, the Quinn, Quinn, Cura, anyway, Sinus engine. These are nice little bikes, really, and I'll say it again and again, and the things that are wrong with this is what I say every time. But these are about 11 brake horsepower, 10 litre odd tank on them. they got a gear indicator, we have counter, speedo, um, no fuel gauge, but basically all right. Tiny little light on them. They ride really well as long as you take care of them. Speedo drive, as usual. Done a video on that, check that out. But basically, there's a little round little bit in here with two prongs on it, and they spray out, and then you just don't get it. So, unless the cable's gone, I'm gonna take that off and do that one on here. Chain on these. On this particular one, the guy's got it all wrong. There's markings on the back here. And there's four lines here. On the other side, there's three. I mean, even them out. What this is doing, tight, loose, tight, loose, tight, loose. The person that gave me this bike said, oh, I think the sprocket's wrong, bloody, bloody, it's not in the right place, it's fine. Just haven't tightened the chain properly. You don't just undo them and tighten one side. It's all got to be even. I've got a video of how to do that properly. Keys on these are all the same. Put some WD. No, they just be really shitty. This one is stiff, but it does turn on. There you go. So speedo drive is down here. And that needs sorting out. Tires are lowish, but still all right. Indicators standard here. That's a bit of rubbish ones on the back. I'm going to uh, replace them, actually. A little bit of moisture in here, and again, people do end up cracking the real registration plate. Bloody cable, bloody ties. Don't cable tie. You can get second-hand panels for these, very hard. Otherwise, about £50 here. I'm going to take that off, glue it, bond it on the back, fill the little holes in, see how it looks afterwards. So realistically, this bike today, speedo drive, sort the chain out, sort the panels out, oil change and clean plug. Something I don't get, normal cable clutch. Now you know why I always call it a clutch. This side I'm always working on the bike and the other day I was doing a brake lever and I'm saying it was the clutch lever. And I thought I took it out and I couldn't take it out because I spoke about it about 10 times. However, the brake lever on this one, what the hell? Why would you do that? It looks tacky. Looks like a Fabri Mini Moto. Just go, they're only like seven pound. Get one that matches this. If I'm not mistaken, this will fit anyway, but again, it's, it's missing the end. However, do you know what? It's still better than what's on there. So I may put that on actually, um, because that's just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I'm guessing someone's changed the bars as well. They're most certainly not standard. Wow, really low miles. The speedo drive has gone. So you can't tell how many miles it's done, can you? At all. Engine has said about 11 brake horsepower. And there's the manual choke up and down on here. Fuel, always nice to have reserve on here. Because you don't get a fuel gauge, you get a reserve, which is, I've got to say, really handy. Um, but for me, I don't know, 50, 60 miles, just pop the petrol station. After a while, you'll get a gauge of it. I reckon I'll do about 50 miles to the gallon. They're going to do about 65 odd miles an hour. Now this one has got the old Lextech sports exhaust. Three bikes now had a sports exhaust. Quite nice. Do sound nice. Rusty as hell. Got to expect it. I am happy that Sinners have the uh, can't do it. Have the um, oil filler here and not back here on the frame. Air filter, nice and easy. We're going to take that off and clean it. Sparky plug, take that out, clean it or change it. Oil chain underneath, fill it back full of oil. And under here is obviously the battery, which you know I'm going to stick on here and charge. So, let's get on with this one, move it forward. First thing I'm going to do is the chain. Next thing, the speedo drive. And off a little bit. Let's have a look what it looks like after. So you take back this nut, and then you take back this nut. That is not right. I don't know who's put them there. And just go to show when I check it. This should be on a sensible mount. Look. Hand. That's not right. Don't get me wrong. You shouldn't have them so tight they ruin the bearing. But that is a bit pathetic. When you come to this side. Now, can you see? One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, I've undone this. 
That is a 12 mil and that's a 13 mil. One, two, three, four. And that's a 13 mil and that's a 12 mil. So someone's played with it, not timed up enough, got this wrong and adjusted these wrong. It simply means this wheel is fitting this way. I mean, it must have been a bitch riding around corners anyway. So, not clever. Don't do it, get it right. So I'm gonna take that nut off, swap them over, that's a locking nut anyway. Let's get these off of here. Get this wheel now straight. The chain will be perfect. And it's supposed to have about that much movement. Not this much movement. Just damage the chain, that's just... You know, I'm not even sure actually whether that could... I'm not sure that could have even have come off. Stupid. My moan. Get that one done. Battery off to get it on charge. After some messing around, it's much better. This gauge actually didn't have a lot to do with it, the way the wheel is. However, the chain is slightly stretched. That took an awful lot of adjustment. Now, for something I keep going on about. Let's get a close-up. Come on. I keep saying it. Check your oil regularly. Under the level. The most thing that will go wrong with this bike is it will seize. Just a little bit more will make it so much more happier. Done an oil video, check it out. Motorbike oil for motorbikes. So just simple 1040 semi synthetic in here. Let's drain this old crappy oil out and put some nice fresh in. Not as much oil to drain out. Take the Speedo cable out. Put it somewhere sensible. This bolt here has to come out. Obviously I've just took it out. And this allows this to then come out. <coughs> they just gently undo it. Now, trick. You may not have this, but my son made this while he was at school. Didn't want it anymore, so it's in my shed. And it's amazing how handy it is. Just pick the front of the bike up, place it on the old belly pan. Sits there nicely, means the front wheel now is nicely off the floor. And you get this wheel out. Here's the speedo drive. In there, I'm expecting it to be messy now. I've turned this round, and the speedo moves. So that quite simply means that the clocks are good, the cable's good, it is the speedo drive. Now, in many other videos, I've took that apart, and say they spray it out. Fingers crossed, the same thing. They can bend it back in there, grease and oil it up, and the speedo will work, which is quite important. So without this, you're not gonna be able to get this out. Just keep turning and turning and turning and turning and turning. And eventually, the wheel will drop. Hold the wheel, and there we go. Now, just remember where everything goes, okay? Take pictures, I've said before. Don't even have to let it go fully out. Just pop that out, and even put the wheel back in place if you wish. Keep it safe. Now, suspected, they have been pushed back. That's all it is. These need to be bent back out again. That's not moving it at all at present minute. That goes in there, and that's a bit of a mess. Grease and water in here, but I do think this one is uh, knackered. It's not good. So this little clip is what you need replacing, but you have to get the whole thing to replace it. That's a shame. Normally you can get away with just cleaning these up, and all the bits are there. But not on this one it looks like today. It's definitely jammed. Oh dear, need a new one. Worth a try though, so these are easy on eBay. 20 odd quid, definitely needs doing. On a lighter note, glued the back, stick one on the front, filled the holes in. It's not a million dollars, no, but I'm not gonna buy another panel. Just gonna clean that up, and I'm gonna blow that over black. But, it is back to being sturdy again. And the brake lever, sticker. A few decals, took the other ones off. Chain done. They look a bit better now, took all the tape off of them. Sometimes you have to pay out for bits. That's a bit I've got to pay out for. Right, let's get on with it. Sometimes I just can't let things go. Look at that. Just completely jammed up in there. Okay, the screwdriver is the cable, but you know what I'm trying to say. Basically, on other ones I've had, these have two prongs. This doesn't. This one doesn't. It's not quite round. It's got like two flat bits in it. And the flat bits go on the inner side of this bit here. And the whole thing turns round. So, more WD-40. 
more turning round. I mean, that's only 20 quid, I know, but it just bugs me when things don't work, and I like to make them work. I mean, that's a lot of freeing up, I might have to buy another one anyway. Basically, Walters got in here, penetrated, rusted it all solid. So, with a little bit of a, I think that's quite tight, and it frees up again. I'm going to have a play, if not, buy another one. Let's get on with it. When it comes to the air filter, these often get forgot. They play a vital role in your carburetor for the air mix. So with this one, with the blacking here, and obviously oil residue, it needs cleaning. Now you can save money just by washing this in good old washing up liquid, make sure it's completely dry and pop back in. No need to pay £12 for another one. But it's a simple thing to clean, and your bike is trying to breathe through that. So if like magic, how much cleaner is that? Practically looks new. Little bit of staining inside, but nice and clean, no oil, simple washing up liquid, lots of hot water, rinse through, perfectly dry, ready to go back. Great saving money tip. Yes. Anyway, let's put this back on. Still gonna give this a little bit of carb cleaner. Pop it all back on. And now your bike will breathe a lot easier. No need to mess around with air petrol mix now, hopefully. We'll see if it pops as well still, because I don't think it will, because it's not running so rich. So my speedo drive should be here on Tuesday. Registration plate as well. This bike should be back on the road, hopefully Tuesday night. Let's get some videos of that up. I'll show you a look around it outside. I mean, it does have a few little marks on it for a two-year-old bike. Can't believe what some people do. And I don't understand why the side panels keep getting damaged. I mean, even if the bike falls over, I can't see it. It's like someone just rips them up purposely. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, several attempts of trying to get this to. Oh, it's nah, it's just not good enough. So the shiny one I made earlier, and this will just naturally fit nicely on. It is a direct replacement. So all I've got to do is now fit this back on the wheel. Let me get this speedo going. Now, change the plug, put the oil in it, clean the air filter. She's still running, overrunning as it were now. But on these carbs, not like the ordinary 40 carbs, I've got the big bulbous bit on the top. These haven't, these are gravity fed, so just like the 2T carburetors. So I'm gonna get this off, give it a good old clean and put that back on, because that's what I think it needs. It does start and run, I'm just not 100% happy with it. So, let's get this off. My quick tip of the day, grease the inside and where the cable goes in. Grease in here as well. So inside and here. The reason being is this was happened in the first place, water gets in, starts rusting it. So nice big wad of grease inside and on top and then screw it back down again, the water won't get in, won't rust and it will stay working. Such a common little thing with such an easy fix. That's why they all go. When they're made, doesn't rain like here, crap, salt and God knows what else. Why, they only last a couple of thousand miles. Another top tip, do not over tighten this main bolt through here. Make sure it's tight, but not over tight. This one, however, does have to be tight. And again, I've WD'd in there, bit of grease and tied it up. Because again, it will just rust in there, you might better get out next time that you've got to change it. With my top tips, it should last forever. So I've put the shank in, and just a bit of blob of grease. It's never gonna hurt it. Plop it on there like that. Not gonna wipe your fingers afterwards. Pop it back in. Seal it with a kiss, nah, a bit of grease. It really does work, honestly. I go on about WD-40 a lot, but grease is a friend as well. This will definitely safeguard it next time you need to get this bolt out and change a tyre. And hopefully, if you follow my steps for this Speedo, you won't need to replace the Speedo ever again. This has got to be nice and tight. And there we go. What we've got to do now is put the old covers back over there to protect it from most of the road salt. And we're back on the road. And with a Speedo. Now I'm gonna do the carburetor next. I've shown you hundreds of times about carburetors, so we're gonna skip that part, okay? But then look outside. Unless I do get complications, I'll show you. So I've just drained out the carburetor, took the petrol out. There was a small few little bits in the bottom of the bowl, not really major. And being the same design as the gravity fed carburetors, there wasn't much wrong with it either. So I'm gonna try and start this little bike here. Do you know, off topic, I remember many, many years ago, my sister's got is in America and she's got a couple of American kids. 
and I was cleaning out an NSR 125, a decent little bike in the day. And he came up to me and I was swirling around this tank, like I did in the bug. I swirling around this tank and pouring the petrol out. And I heard him, Uncle Mac. And I thought I'd ignore him. Uncle Mac. I thought oh, I'll try and ignore him. Uncle Mac. I thought, oh, yes, Daniel. He said, um, what are you doing? Apologise for American accent. And I said, I'm cleaning shit out of the tank. And he paused. It's gone quiet. I looked at him and went, why do you poop in the tank, Uncle Mark? And I thought, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <coughs> flu. Sorry for that story. Just made me chuckle. Right, let's see if this starts, shall we? Choke on. Light on. Not too impressed. Uh, air petrol mix then. Clean the air filter, as you see, and the plug's better. Uh, fuel's clean. Gonna have to check the air petrol mix, see if someone's played with that. Possibly because they've put a sports exhaust on there, they think they've got to then mess around with that. So remember, one and a half turns for 2T and six turns out for 4T. So carb tuning on these carburetors, gravity fed is on the right hand side. So on these, it's here. Remember six half turns out. I've got this six and a quarter and it's starting, running and not over running. So just that little tiny bit made a massive difference. The Lex Moto got the vacuum on top. That is underneath and I may have been able to get it with a small screwdriver. However, starts. a lot better I need now to take it for a ride and see what it comes back when it's really warm because you really should have it warm I think that's bang on now so wash and clean let's look at it outside shall we generally these are quite nice looking bikes as I said RMR Superbike Sinus Apache there's a couple just like Lex Motor ones as well nice wash and clean and this will come up and looking lovely so take it for a ride next. There's the speedo drive. That's sorted. Yet to do the brake lever. It's slightly skew with, but only killed on by four little bands basically. I've always liked they have a uh, gear indicator. It's really, really handy. These switches, again, WD40 regular. They really do mess around. And put some WD in here. But a few extra decals on it. Doesn't look too bad, and the finish of this is never going to be great because it's got a little crack bit on it. But hey, all I've got to do now is adjust this, it's very, very stiff, and give her a really good wash and clean. I'm going to continue and clean this now, <sighs> even though it's cold, to get it looking nice, just to break the trash plate to sort out, and that is job done. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And while I'm washing that, you can check out my other videos. <laughs> okay, not as cheesy as last time. Still cheesiest. Remember, Mark Savage, put in what you're after and hopefully I've got it on my channel. Over 400 videos, that's not bad now, is it? Not quite mega stardom, but we are getting there, slowly but surely. How am I doing this? By flooding the internet full of me. <laughs> Take care of yourself on the road, bye bye.